Sister Wives, the eight tackiest examples of Cody and Robin Brown putting themselves first. Hey lovely viewers, welcome to my shocking news channel. Sister Wives star Cody Brown never treated all four of his wives equally, often putting the needs of his favorite wife, Robin Brown, first. As the shock over the tragic death of Garrison Brown continues to reverberate through the Sister Wives universe, it's worth remembering eight times Cody Brown and Robin Brown put themselves in there. Needs first. When the series first premiered in 2010, Cody was married to his first three wives, Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, and Christine Brown. The entire family lived in one large house in Utah, with each wife having her own wing where she lived with her children. That changed when Cody moved his family out of Utah, in fear that the state would prosecute him for polygamy. During the first season of Sister Wives, Cody courted and married his fourth wife, Robin, and moved the family out of Utah and into four separate homes. This divided the family and Cody's time, leaving less time for each wife and each of Cody's 18 children. The arrival of the COVID-19 pandemic divided the family even further, exposing the existing resentments and rifts within the family. In stark contrast to the first season of the show, Sister Wives Season 18 found Cody being divorced by the last of his first three wives and in an accidentally monogamous relationship with Robin. With four wives and 18 children in Sister Wives, the Brown family always struggled to live together again, as they did back in Utah during Sister Wives Season 1. However, finding one house that could accommodate them all was nearly impossible, so they had to live in separate homes. At one point, they lived in four separate homes in the same cul-de-sac, which made it easier for Cody to spend time with all of his wives and children. That didn't last either, and the wives eventually had to find new homes to live in, often at considerable distances apart. Funds were limited, in part, because the Browns had invested in a large plot of land at Coyote Pass in Arizona, with the goal of developing it for the family to live on together. When it came time for Janelle to find a house, her money was tied up at Coyote Pass. Instead of helping her, Cody bought a large, expensive home for Robin and her four children. Left to fend for herself, Janelle had to live in a trailer. On the land, with her and Cody's youngest child. By the time Christine, Janelle, and Mary left Cody, the Brown family hadn't yet developed any of the land. Cody was able to buy Christine out, paying her only $10 for her share. Ultimately, she didn't care about the money and just wanted to be free of Cody. The other wives thought it was unfair since Cody didn't split Christine's share with the rest of them, keeping it all for himself. It's unclear what will happen to Janelle and Mary's share of the land at Coyote Pass. During a Sister Wives Season 18 episode, Cody was telling Mary and Robin his revised dream for Coyote Pass. With his family in shambles, the dream of building multiple family homes was replaced by the idea of building a barn dominium, a small apartment situated over a storage shed. Cody planned to store his things in the barn while Mary lived in the apartment above. Though Mary was visibly offended by Cody's terrible plan, she didn't say so, and neither did Robin. Cody's barn dominium dream was emblematic of how he treated Mary like another unwanted item to store out of sight. Though Robin befriended Mary, she cared more about living the polygamous dream that she had been promised. When Robin first married into the family, the Browns were a large, boisterous clan who were always there for each other. Robin wanting that for herself and her kids was more important to her than Mary's happiness. That's why Robin kept begging Mary to stay in the marriage despite Cody often making it painfully clear about his lack of feelings for Mary. Eventually, Mary had enough of hearing that her husband never loved her and divorced Cody in 2022. News broke recently about the tragic death of Garrison, Cody and Janelle's 25-year-old son, who died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Sadly, Garrison wasn't on good terms with his father at the time of his death, as they'd been feuding since the COVID-19 pandemic tore the family apart. Several of Cody's older kids, including Garrison, weren't able to follow Cody and Robin's strict COVID rules and were, therefore, not allowed to see their father. The pandemic separation was painful for everyone involved, and the family was never able to reunite after the pandemic ended. All of Cody Brown's children and their ages. In hindsight, Cody and Robin's behavior during the COVID-19 pandemic was suspect. 
Though there's no doubt that they were scared of the virus, it's possible that their response was born of a subconscious desire to be alone together with their four kids. That would explain why it was so easy for Cody to simply cut his older kids out of his life for months at a time instead of looking for other solutions. Especially since Cody and Robin were hypocritical and didn't always follow the strict viral mitigation rules they wanted everyone else to follow. One major struggle with living in a plural marriage is the ever-hovering specter of jealousy. When Cody was married to his first three wives, he treated them equally and was more capable of managing the green-eyed monster. The delicate balance he had achieved with Mary, Janelle, and Christine was obliterated when Cody married Robin and made multiple mistakes in the marriage. Not only did he start spending more and more time at Robin's house, but it was obvious that his feelings for Robin were more romantic than his dutiful feelings. Toward his first three wives, the jealousy was especially hard on Christine, who made it clear she was having a hard time watching Cody and Robin's romance unfold. If Cody had wanted to save his marriage with Christine, he could have easily adjusted his behavior towards Robin while spending more time with Christine. As the patriarch of a plural family, it's his duty to treat his wives equally and do everything in his power to make them feel comfortable and loved. Not only did Cody not try to save his marriages, but he actively pushed each of his first three wives away. Since Cody married Robin, it's impossible not to notice that she always sits next to him during family meetings. This has led to speculation that Robin has insisted on sitting next to Cody. This could be because Robin was insecure about her position as the fourth wife and wanted Cody to make a point by seating her directly by his side. Another reason could be due to Robin always bragging about how she could speak Cody, so perhaps she sat near him to translate his words to the rest of the fam. He kissed me, and I was like, all right, well, it's done. It's been done. During a Sister Wives season 18 episode, Christine talked about how upset she was Cody had kissed Robin before the wedding. Robin, who expresses guilt about the kiss, says, he kissed me, and I was like, all right, well, it's done. It's been done. Before courting Robin, Cody and his wives had a rule against intimacy before marriage, which included kissing. If Cody, who would often kiss and tell, didn't stop at just kissing and potentially had sex before marriage. Another early betrayal involved Robin's wedding dress. During an early Sister Wives season 1 episode, Robin took her future Sister Wives to help her pick out her wedding dress. The event was a beautiful bonding experience that brought the women together. Later, it was revealed Robin went back to the dress. Shop with Cody and picked a different dress. Christine, Mary, and Janelle were shocked by the revelation as the incident set the stage for Robin's relationship with her sister wives. What do you think about this video? Please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.